Hey, this is Brad Kazmarski back with my FMS coaching series, a little bit deeper look at live in action movement screens. Like I said before, not everyone gets the opportunity to screen a lot of people right off the bat. So when they do get to the screen, they might get tricked, you know, um, a slight foot turnout, a leg going straight up. These things may throw you off and then all of a sudden you give them a number and then you're like, oh crap, I'm not sure if that's right. So this is why I videotape all these screens. And now you can take advantage of the fact that I also go back and review them and you can review them as well. So in today's installment, we're going to look at the active straight leg raise. This is one of the two foundational movements that has to get cleared, the, shoulder, you know, the shoulders and the hips. So in this case, the hips, the FMS uses the active straight leg raise. What I want to look at here and I want you to look at is first I'm going to show you what I consider a pretty clean three. Then we're going to look at little things, nuances that you might not catch if you're just focused on putting that stick up and only focusing on that. So the foot may be turning out, the leg lifting up. Here we're going to break in to some of the things that I catch and I hope you can catch later by reviewing these. So when you do your own screen, you're not worried about missing these. All right, so here I will consider this a solid three, no problems. Foot is straight up, leg is straight here, slowing it down. Leg remains straight, the bottom leg stays straight, the bottom leg doesn't move at all. She's able to stabilize the pelvis and raise the leg up. That is what we're looking for in general. She's clearly past that, but you only need to get to that. Don't worry about that. Here is a pretty good screen as well. If you want to be picky, you can look right there. He lifts up a little bit. So every time that last inch, he's reaching a little bit extra, pushing off the ground. So by reviewing this on video, I can stop and pause when his leg leaves that board and then measure down. That is a more accurate measurement of being able to, so again, here's an overpower or a powerful athlete who's able to almost throw her leg up to try to get the height she thinks she's required to get. Um, so we're not really cueing her to get to that height, but she's smart. She's watched other kids she knows. So watch there. She's able to lift that leg off. You need to stop wherever her leg lifts off at all. That's where you're measuring it at. So in real time, that's harder to do. You got to slow her down. But also videoing it allows you to pause it and then measure. The leg's bent there as well, so we need to be able to be more accurate, being able to keep that leg straight and being able to say the leg lifts off there. We, we, we don't want to count that. We want to stop where the leg lifts. So if the leg pops up, pause the video, measure it down. That's in a true range. Here, same thing. And it's more subtle because he's going more controlled. But especially on the, on the far side leg, when this leg goes up, that bottom leg lifts up a little bit. And it's subtle, but that's where we want to stop the screen. Right there, I don't know if we're making contact at all. So we probably want to take the shoes off. Again, learn by these mistakes. Take the shoes off maybe so you can have contact. And if that bottom leg is lifting up, here you're going to see another common mistake. Focusing on the top leg, allowing that bottom leg to rotate out, is not a true measurement of the active straight leg raise. The pelvis is allowed to open up a little bit. So by letting that leg fall out, that is skewing how high the other leg is truly getting. So we would need to put that foot back in alignment. Here he's able to do a pretty strong controlled movement, regardless of the height. I'm not worried about that. We're looking at how he's doing it. But we're going to again notice athletes, look at that. They're pushing off the ground, clearing space off that board. We can't allow that if we want it to be completely accurate. Here, he doesn't cheat. I think, if I remember, he does this correctly. He just doesn't get there. That's fine. You know, like that's a clean screen. It doesn't mean it's a three, but it means the screen we're doing is accurate. And that's what we're looking for is accuracy. So now I've rearranged. We're going to give him the screen score of what he's getting. That is a decent job of screening it. Now we just need to do a decent job of correcting it. And we did that. You know, we moved on with this. This is no longer an issue. Um, here you're going to see someone muscle through it so hard that He's actually driving that down leg in and clearing space. So watch this. Watch the tension. Don't worry about the head and the neck. Those are obviously compensations as well. Look at that. He's giving himself so much room that you need to slow this down and be able to say, the second that foot leaves the girl, right where there, when he, that's it. So he's clearly expressing a full range of motion much more than he's actually having. So when that leg breaks the board, that bottom leg lifts off of that, stop. That's where his leg truly is. 
So if it appears like he's getting here, but now if his leg's leaving the ground, he's actually more like a here. So that may be there between a, a three and a two or a two and a one. But the point is we're looking at movement quality and we need to be consistent on that. So those are little things that, those are slow motions. So it makes it seem obvious. You're like, yeah, obviously I saw that. Yeah, I'm pointing it out too. That helps. So in slow motion, watch that, review that. So in full speed, you're not just obsessed about, I've got the stick here and I'm holding it and the toe's there. Boom, measure the foot. Yes, that's important. We want to know that toe doesn't turn out, that leg stays straight and that he, the bottom of the leg stays flat on the board. So videotape it if you, if you have the right to, if they allow you to. I like to videotape all of them just from the fact that you can now review this with yourself and maybe you're going to correct your score or you can focus on one thing when you're doing the screening, but then you can go home and actually review and make sure your score is accurate to yourself and to others. So I hope this is a foundational movement, the active straight leg raise. With this in the shoulder mobility, I hope that you can catch some of the um, common faults that we see or compensations that people are going to do unintentionally or intentionally, regardless, they're going to do it. We need to be able to identify that and then have a clean screen so that we can work on the, cor the right correctives and the movements that they're actually giving us. So until next time, review this, and I hope it makes sense, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.